My name is Doug Wood, and I'm happy to tell you about our great new courses from DC Wood Consulting. In this video, you will learn how our webinars provide you with real-life knowledge and practical skills. Our courses include tools and templates you can apply immediately to make your processes work better. Hello, and welcome to our introductory course. We're going to spend five minutes or so and gain an introduction into one subject in the Lean curriculum offered by DC Wood Consulting. We're going to look at some of the topics covered by the full three-hour course on Lean Overview for Managers. This slide shows all the topics covered by our regular course. In this short introduction, we skim over the subjects Culture, Duran's Quality Trilogy, and the Overview of Lean Components. We will also see how our full Lean curriculum fits together. This overview is only intended to skim the actual course materials. Lean is a really broad subject, so this introductory course touches on many areas of management. Culture is a general term. One way to focus is to look at specific behaviors. The slide here lists several of them. One of the prime movers of operational excellence is Joseph Duran. In the overview course, we discuss how the three terms, planning, control, and improvement, originally used in finance relate to the world of process and process quality. Now each course in the series is summarized in this overview course. For example, planning looks at unique steps applied in lean rollouts. This is followed there this is followed by a course on 5S, which is a key lean stage, and then that again is followed by a course on standard work. Now lean uses a version of standard work, but it may be different than you have seen elsewhere. In lean, standards can be changed rapidly as needed by the workplace. Most technical programs fail due to people issues. In this series of courses, the people side of change is emphasized. The lean involvement overview covers that. Total productive maintenance is an aspect of lean that ensures full capacity. TPM, in turn, rests on involvement and 5S. There's also a unit on mistake proofing and what is called jidoka in Japanese, human flow automation in this series. The final unit in the series is on just in time. Many organizations have tried to do just-in-time and found limited application. This may be due to using only portions of the entire lean body of knowledge. Since all the aspects of lean interact, leaving out a portion can reduce the benefits dramatically. In this series of courses, we seek to show how all the areas of the body of knowledge interact, giving participants a clear idea of how to proceed at their organization. At the end of the overview course, there are five pages of detailed resources for further reading an invaluable resource for directing your efforts. This chart summarizes the interactions between various areas of the lean body of knowledge. The lines link the various areas. Now lean overview for management and planning for lean are involved in all the lean subjects and so for clarity's sake links for these subjects are not shown on this chart. All of our courses are taught by top-notch instructors skilled in adult learning and internet instruction. We sincerely hope this overview has helped you see the content of our Lean Overview for Managers course. To find out more about our other courses, go to the register page listed and click on the name of the course offering for an outline. Thank you for your time.